Beloved in Christ, as we prepare for Christmas, let it be our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which is come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in sacred scripture the story of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all men and women, for the welfare of all our churches and for the unity of the human family, for our nation and its government, and all who serve and protect us. Let us remember the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all those who do not know the Lord Jesus. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light. The saints, that multitude which no person can number, whose hope was in the Word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words that Jesus himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus published a decree ordering a census of the whole world. This first census took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to register, each to his own town. And so Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to David's town of Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to register with Mary, his espoused wife, who was with child. While they were there, the days of her confinement were completed. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the place where travelers lodged. There were shepherds in the locality, living in the fields, and keeping watch by turns over their flocks. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, as the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were very much afraid. The angel said to them, You have nothing to fear. I come to proclaim good news to you, tidings of great joy to be shared by the whole people. This day, in David's city, a Savior has been born to you. In a manger, you will find an infant, wrapped in swaddling clothes. Suddenly, there was an angel with a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, The Gospel of the Lord.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through Him was life, and this life was the light of the human race the light that shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord.
Let us pray. Lord God, we praise you for creating us and still more for restoring us in Christ. Your Son shared our weakness. May we share his glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord Jesus Christ fill you with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace.